Good morning. Uh, here we are on day five of Prey. We are right outside Alex's office. Well, we're getting close to his office. Now, I made a mistake in my last live stream of Prey. There were two labs at the Neuromod... Um, check. Verbose. Verbose. Nominal. Right, I'm talking. There were two Nominal. labs Just at the last uh, lab that we went to that I missed. Training. So I might have to go back to explore those, um, but for now, let's just continue on and try and find Alex's office. There we go. <clears throat> well, I'm glad you're all here. <clears throat> I was uh, uh, worried whether or not I'd, I'd even make it this morning because last night... Oh, I'm standing right next to this guy. No wonder he's really loud. Uh, last night during my, uh, my Doom stream, I think we, we stayed up pretty late. What was it? Three hours of Doom? No, it was, uh, one hour of Q&A, two hours of Doom. It was a really good time. <clears throat> and then I worked on my lore video for tomorrow, pretty late into the evening. And I didn't finish it. I didn't finish it because I went to bed so that I could get up on time to do this stream. Uh, the bridge. The bridge? What's the bridge? Did we go to the bridge? Where do we go up to the office? Let's go up to the bridge. Okay, how am I on neuron mods, by the way? Um... I've got one. Mimic matter. Camouflage yourself by taking the form of a nearby object. I mean, that would be really cool. I see. So it uses PSI to maintain the mimic. Oh, I could turn into an operator to fly around. Oh, that's cool. Well, uh, we'll worry about that when I actually have uh, neuromods to use. Okay, so here we are. Let's... We're trying to get to Alex's office, but we keep passing by these other things along the way. Tell us one bridge. Okay. Brian says, did the stream just start? It did indeed. You're at the very beginning of a good four hours of prey. Let's see how far we can get through it today. Good morning, Ox, says Publius Varus. Good morning, Publius. Charles Borden says, good morning, Ox, who have the kids, kids cracked in these safes this morning? <laughs> what the heck was that? Sorry. <laughs> oh, that was really big. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me, let me try and figure out uh, how to get past that. <laughs> it just ran by. Red saw me immediately. I know my kids haven't learned how to crack safes, but they still know how to get into my office. Okay. Um. What the heck was that? That was too early, man. Too early to deal with this. Uh, let's try. Um... Jiminy crickets. Oh boy, and it's standing right in front of me. All right, let's go to my inventory. Go to the 
the bridge just yet. <laughs> Max Doolin says, hey, Axel, love your video. has been waiting all day for this stream. Well, I'm, I'm grateful that you were waiting, and I'm glad to be here for you this morning. Wow. A one shot kill nightmare 241. What does that mean? Why does the why is the nightmare on a timer? Does that mean the nightmare will go away? The howling set my dogs off, says Z Chibs. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I, I, I keep trying to read the chat. I really do. And then something happens. I need coffee. I need coffee to get through this today. Okay, what's this? Sadie Hall. 40 bits. So these are the escape pods, launch controls. <clears throat> Ensure pod doors are sealed and all personnel are on board. Take a seat and make sure. Safety harnesses are secured. Initialize onboard systems from launch. Remain seated while the guidance systems pilot the vessel to designated rendezvous points. Wait until the vessel has come to a complete stop and the door has opened before removing your safety harnesses. Okay. Let's save first and see what happens. This escape pod is currently experiencing a malfunction. Engineering has been notified. Please use another. Okay. <laughs> Charles Borden says, Oxhorn didn't scream like a little girl. He screamed like a full-grown Jawa. Well, I mean, that is fair. Oh, and I'm running out. Um... Let me eat something. No, I don't need to eat anything. I'm at 100 health. That nightmare killed me when I was at 100 health. What can I do to optimize? It's an expired plasma bag. I, I could use a recycler charge. Let's do that. Hey, EMP charge fabrication plant. Sweet. Oh, shotgun critical. You've acquired a chipset. Sweet. 
a shotgun chipset? Increases their critical chance rate when firing the shotgun. Yes! Okay, that's what I need. Um, the hidden mimics is what I really want, so let's keep that. Let's move that. Sarah says, the Chinese poem said, The white sun sets behind mountains, and yellow river flows into the sea to see a thousand-mile view go up another floor. It means to rise above, you must climb. The poem is by Deng Zhuang Lu. I see. So that's a translation of uh, some of the Chinese poetry that we read in a previous episode. Very cool. There's a working one in uh, in Alex's office, a working escape pod. All right. Are these all malfunctioning? This escape pod is currently experiencing a malfunction. Engineering has been notified. Please use another. Well, bad luck for everybody. <laughs> they came up here to leave, and all of the escape pods were not working. Is this all the rich for the bridge? Why is that nightmare timer still on? That's what I'm really freaked out about. <laughs> Brett Bus says, start this up the escape pod and is currently experiencing a malfunction. Engineering has been notified. Please use another. Suddenly I don't need coffee or take my morning leak anymore. Yeah, I mean, it woke me up. I mean, I'm feeling a little bit more revitalized. I, I missed my coffee this morning and I, uh, I woke up not long ago and then a nightmare arrived and okay, I'm feeling all right. We're good. <laughs> Hotsy Totsy says, morning Ox, glad to be here today. Good morning, Hotsy Totsy, good to have you here. All right, I'm presuming all of these are non-functional, so I'm not going to bother to try and launch each and every one of them. Okay. Is there a staircase leading down, or am I going to have to jump? Why is that nightmare still going on? Is that glass? Is that it for this? Let's see. Okay, says afternoon, don't take Tyler. the escape pod. Security reminder. Sticky notes, even well-hidden ones, are not a secure means of storing your workstation password. Uh, it says don't take the password. You still got, or um, don't take the uh, shuttle pods. There are still people to save. Okay. the heck it said zero I don't, I don't I might have to the nightmare is hunting you evade or kill the nightmare objective completed what I'm really confused I just died to the nightmare how could I have evaded the nightmare?
I think that must have been a glitch or something. I think that after the countdown uh, went down, the nightmare should have gone away. But it didn't, which is why it killed me as soon as I went back up. Uh, Altair Thays says, been watching to catch, uh, been waiting to catch you, you live to ask an unrelated question. What weapon beside the uh, Gauss rifle are you using in Fallout 76? Keep up the hours of fun you provide us. Thank you very much. Um, I use the combat shotgun and sometimes the lever action rifle. Uh, that's really it. Okay, well, let's hope he's not standing there again. That was a one-hit kill, man. Okay, he's gone. Whew. What's that? Typhon. I need a recycler so bad. Hey, what's this? Hello, what have we here? What was that? I have the chipset that allows me to detect hidden typhons, so that's why I'm, I keep pulling this back out just in case something comes by. What have I found here? <clears throat> Ash Malachi says, Ox, what do you call mixing coffee and liquor? Getting ready for work? Uh... <laughs> I'm sure some people do that, but man, that's a bit much for me. Mixing coffee and liquor, that's like a, you know, a, a late night treat. Go out to a restaurant, get a Irish coffee or something. Just going the other way, just to see what, uh, what I would have missed. Workstation password. And that's where I came from. Okay. Find out. Okay, there's something on the other side of this glass. Whatever is in there. It looks like some sort of auditorium? Or is that supposed to be the bridge? How do we get there? Exit, hold on.
There's a gantry up there. effects are horrible. They're just awful. Okay, I could try and climb up there, but before I waste a ton of time with my glue gun trying to get up there, let's, um... <clears throat> let's go down this path, just to see where it, it leads. I hope that we find a recycler along the way. Type an ability research, the electrostatic burst two. New psionic aptitude available. AHG says, uh, yay, we got Prey. I will never play these games. So seeing them well played is a new and unique way of telling the story, Oxhorn. You're a bard of our times. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's extremely kind. Briefing room. Oh, so this was the briefing room. I haven't even found the Typhon. That was up there in the, uh, on the bridge. Sky Braxton. Optimizer telepathy. Wow, I'm just, they're dropping like candy. Reduces the psi cost of telepathic powers. Okay, well, we'll choose that another day. There's another one on the other side of that door. Where's my big... <clears throat> Dead Space works on my Windows 10 after tweaks. How to PM you? Uh, probably the best bet is to um, use Twitter to, to share with me how you got through that. that again I almost got him but it's gonna take more than one it's gonna take more than one because I have to reload it okay so let's see if we can get rid of that other mimic first Thank <laughs> you. 
More specimens required. Gone it and I'm out. Okay, there's the bridge. All right, well, I didn't get a chance to finish exploring the briefing room. Fulbright. Bridge safe. Ah. Let's try that again. <clears throat> it was just too far a distance. An upgrade kit. Could you, could you move? Thank you. Um, hmm. No wave transmitter. <clears throat> an experimental device developed in the psychotronics lab which discharges a sign nullifying pulse. When detonated, can be thrown or attached to surfaces. That's new, I believe, for me. Okay. <clears throat> Let's use a recycler grenade. Wow. Feeling good. Lots of snacks out there. And another Huntress Bolt Caster. Note. I hope today is memorable and happy. Happy birthday, Izumi. <clears throat> and there's a uh, another Bolt Caster. Okay. Let's make sure that we drop everything far away from corpses. Carrying two shotguns and an extra glue gun. It's been quite a while since I've found a recycler, hasn't it? What's that, a water pressure regulator? Why is that a completely different color? Is it like a rare item? Regulates the flow of water supply, customized for Talos 1 plumbing systems. A water pressure regulator, is that unique or is that a quest item? All right, and before, 
before I recycle all of that, let me uh, move stuff to there. No, you used all the ones you had in the first telepath battle in the Neuromod Division? No, I've got recycler grenades. I've got 15. I have a lot. Oh, oh, you're talking about I see. The uh, the other one. It's not a new a new item. Gotcha. <laughs> Pardon me. No way of transmitter. All right, well, let's... Uh, I've got plenty of the recycler grenades, so let's try it out. Coming through. I don't want to get that corpse, though. Although I did already loot it. Oh, almost pulled me in. Almost pulled me in. And it doesn't recycle corpses. That's good to know. Coming through. Or food, apparently. <clears throat> Man, it doesn't have a very wide radius at all. This guy just won't leave me alone. Wow. Okay. After the space race. I think I've already read this. I think I've already read them all. Good I just have to stop Talos. reading these. Lunch is served in the cafeteria from 12 to 2 p.m. Please refer to the weekly upgrade for today's menu. And I forgot. Oh, so she got an award, some shoes, lots of presents for her birthday. Nothing beyond there. Oh, and all of that food. It was for her birthday. <clears throat> birthday snacks. Well, so they were selling, a, uh, celebrating a birthday when <clears throat> everything went down. That's sad. But, we got all the loot here. So, moving on to the bridge. Garrett says, good evening, Ox. What's on the cigar menu today? No cigars today. I'm completely out. Here we go. Penny Tenniston. We got emails. Where are you? From, from Peter to Penny. Hello, Penny. The operator I sent to you is cycling now, unable to locate you. Is there something wrong with your tracking bracelet? Did you leave Talos, lol? I heard there was an accident down at Cargo Bay. I hope you're okay. Let me know when you get this. Thanks, Peter. Regarding around, or readings around Talos, <clears throat> from Penny to Peter. Hi, Peter. At last, I have a free day to take solar energy readings from around Talos to validate shielding efficiency. I'll be all over the place for the next 24 hours and will post my itinerary below. Please let me know if you will be running any particle processors 
or processes, since it may influence my readings. Thanks. And this is where she'll be. Crew quarters, lobby, deep storage, life support, power plant. <clears throat> Ah, so she went she went missing. Hello, Penny. We are running a variety of processes that may influence your data. I have your itinerary, so I'll dispatch a science operator with some tools to help you get clean readings. Keep a lookout for it. Good luck, Peter Coleman. Uh, but they never got to her. Izumi's surprise birthday party from Sky to Penny and Alica and Marietta. Hey, everybody. I talked with Captain Marks, and she agreed to give us a half hour at end of shift tomorrow to celebrate Izumi's birthday. If you bring a present, <clears throat> put it in the small table in the briefing room. We'll all head there under the guise of a meeting and surprise her with a toast and presents. I'm going to pester Will for a real cake. Fingers crossed. Remember, it's a surprise. Well, that was sweet. And uh, that's it. No files or utilities. can use any of these other terminals, just that one. Hey, thank you very much, Spawn Corp. Ooh, where does that lead? Here's Spencer Ogden. Another chipset, holy cow. <clears throat> okay, this is for the suit. This is the F slide, reduces damage while sliding. Didn't I get that? Yeah, it's right there. So I can have duplicate chips? And they don't stack. They don't stack either. Huh. Okay. Security station. We can track down crew or inspect utilities. There we go. Let's download that area map. But it's pretty small. Briefing room, arboretum, and command deck. And here we are. Yeah, the arboretum. Here's the airlock. What do you have for me, Cothran? Chief, yeah, so I checked that flight plan for the volunteer shuttle like you requested. You're right, it went dark for 12 minutes before it resumed a path towards Earth, but at a slightly different trajectory than before. It's almost unnoticeable, like it left from a different part of the station or changed its flight pattern around Talos. 12 minutes? What about the other shuttles? It's only the volunteer shuttles, but it's all of them. They go dark 8 to 10 minutes after leaving the station, then suddenly reappear. The VIP shuttles don't show the same... irregularity. Got it. Don't talk to anyone about this. About what, Chief? Exactly. Good work, Matt. Elazar out. Huh. So... Someone who would take a VIP shuttle was doing something to the volunteer shuttles. Alex. But what was he doing? I, I got an SOS from a Kirk Remmer. I was gonna route him to security, but we got cut off. He said he was at the escape pods in life support. So call Chief Show up in deep storage. I'm not a network engineer. You're his supervisor? Lady, do you people even know what is happening down here? One of my cargo bays is blown wide open, and I've got multiple MIAs. Please tell me there's a medical team on the way. I'm sorry, I don't know, but I can relay your message to Dr. DeVries and- Christ, I've gotta go. New objective, where is Kirk? Find Kirk Remmer in life support. Okay. Captain's Loft. There's a Reployer.
Wait a minute. So, is this a building adjacent to Talos 1? Alright, before we go up to the captain's quarters, let's head down here. Station monitor life support. Omar Bolivar, and we got a briefing room key. Navigation is shot. Hey, email Sky Braxton. <clears throat> From Danielle to Sky Braxton, new people. Uh, let's head down to start the beginning of the conversation. To Sky from Daniel, can't wait for the new hires and wipe that smile off your face. I know you're smirking. Uh, from Daniel to Sky, I just pray there's no new folks in psychotronics as part of the Earthside rotations. Ugh. Uh, from Daniel to Sky, agreed. And I still can't believe you agreed to that extra neuromod knowing how creepy those psychos are. But worse, their lack of personality is contagious. Even Morgan's got glassy eyes now. Hasn't smiled or made a joke in, what, a month? Huh. So, gossip was all over the station. People in neuromods were becoming weird and creepy. Even Morgan. Break the glass. Okay. I will indeed. Talos 1 monitoring. Taz says, Ox, any new shirts coming? I don't have any new designs right now, but I'll keep working at it. LG Power. Okay, camera array 1, 2, and 3. Okay. Um, note, for technical issues with screens, contact Dr. Lorenzo. Ah... So those were all just looking screens. LG camera orbit bit OG camera elevation. Okay, so we weren't we weren't looking outside. We were looking through uh, cameras. So let's see if there's anything on the other side of the looking glass. That's where I was. Okay. Well, let's go to the captain's loft. He's under the couch. He's in the couch. Good afternoon, Talos. In the event of a loss of atmosphere, gravity, or other serious emergency, please report to the nearest muster station. Another chipset. Holy cow, I'm getting so many chipsets. Electrostatic amp boosts the amount of damage done by electrostatic bursts.
Well, we know what killed the guy. Probably the two mimics in here. Flight log Scott, Scott Parker. <clears throat> Flight log. Uh, shuttle advent. Prepared by Scott Parker, Flight Engineer of the Talos 1 Departure Point Transtar Seattle Facility. Destination Talos 1 Captain Tom Cooper. Earth liftoff was at 0900 hours. Conditions nominal, pre-check certified for executive passengers, mail cargo. Flight was uneventful until 11.33 when radar detected an unidentified shuttle approximately 30 degrees off our flight path at 9,000 kilometers. Its drift and rotation indicated malfunctioning maneuvering thrusters. There was no answer to radio calls. Captain Cooper ordered a course adjustment to bring us alongside. As we maneuvered within 60 kilometers, a second shuttle appeared on radar in the vicinity of the drifting vessel. Transponders identified it as a military vessel. We received a radio message to resume our original heading immediately. Captain Cooper asked if assistance was required, and the order from the military shuttle was repeated. All highly unusual, but then it got really strange. The captain spotted at first there was a facility out there, and it was running absolutely dark. No lights. Radar transparent. We were too far to see any details, but it was big. Cooper snapped into action, punched in a course to Talos, and fired the engines. We moved out as quickly as possible. Our passengers were clueless to the entire encounter. Our arrival at Talos went by smoothly, and the passengers and cargo were delivered safely. Oh, great. So now we've got the military involved. A secret military base out there running dark. I can play it? Not very well. <laughs> I still can't get over this guy under the couch. Jada Marks. Jada Marks' cabin. And another silenced pistol. Okay, Captain Jada Marks. Oh, she was the captain. Not the other guy. <clears throat> Objective updated. Shuttle Advent. Determine the fate of the Shuttle Advent on the Talos 1 bridge. Oh. From Drew to Jada, Captain Marks, before it's too late, I thought you needed to know that the Shuttle Advent departed just before the first alarms. They did go through standard inspection, but that was before we knew what to look for. If they land in Seattle with one of those things aboard, I've enabled the Shuttle charges on Advent. They can be activated remotely from the bridge. It's in your hands, Captain. They will touch down soon. For what it's worth, they have no idea the shuttle charges are enabled. Drew. Oh my gosh. This poor captain has to make a decision. The shuttle leaves. They didn't scan for mimics. And I guess they can't communicate with them. So what did she do? Did she detonate the charges? Or did she allow it to land in Seattle? Are you there? Captain Marks, your transcribe is offline. I can't reach you, and I know you wouldn't leave Talos while there was still crew aboard. I know it's a long shot, but if you get this message, contact me. I'm in Cargo Bay at the moment. I have a handful of survivors with me. I hope you're okay. From Sarah to Jada. From Drew to Jada. Oh, man. What a horrible situation. Ooh, look at that. Wait a minute. So it doesn't it doesn't orbit the uh the moon? Okay. Before we go back down, any secrets? Oh, shuttle advent status. Oh, we have to decide. Shuttle landing countdown, Seattle facility. No, <laughs> we have to decide. Ah. Shuttle landing countdown facility, two minutes. Remote detonate scuttle charges. <laughs> oh no. Oh. More lore on the computer. Right, before we make the decision. Talos 1. 
PA system, station-wide announcements are pre-recorded and played according to regularly scheduled rotation. Oh, thank God, I'll turn those off. Evacuation announcement. Warning, a emergency evacuation message cannot be triggered without authorization from Alex U. Um, I don't think I can do anything with that. Ooh, a note. New code, hire date. Oh, is that the bridge safe? I already... Play the crap captain's transcribe. This is Captain Jada Marks. I'm setting down for posterity my deliberation over the fate of the shuttle advent. I'm unable to determine with confidence if the advent departed before being contaminated by the life forms presently overwhelming Talos 1. Best guess, based on telemetry data, advent departed approximately 30 minutes prior to the first incident report logged by security. 30 minutes. It is within that narrow gap of uncertainty I must decide whether or not to remote detonate the shuttle and its five passengers. They may very well be flying a cargo hold full of mimics to an unsuspecting Earth. They may not. Captain! We could sure as hell use that golden gun right about now! I don't... Ah! <laughs> but 30 minutes before the mimics appeared, 30 mimics, uh, minutes before the first incident, these phantoms, these mimics, they're, these typhons, they're not very subtle. It's not like they would sit around and, uh, and, and wait. They walk around without stealth. I'm not going to kill them. I have no idea if I made the right decision or not. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. She didn't. The captain chose not to. Thirty minutes, that narrow gap of uncertainty. Oh dear, what have I done? <laughs> I think that's it for this. Let's turn the cameras back on, because those are pretty. Laura actually says the mimics actually waited around. Oh, great. Oh, great. What have I done? <laughs> Thank you for dooming all of Earth, the chat is saying. <laughs> oh, what have I done? Okay. I can't believe there's no way to scan the shuttle for any signs. Of, uh, of Typhon life. No Typhon material detected. Got it.
Everyone is telling me to reload. All right, I'm gonna Google it. Sorry, I'm gonna Google it. What happens if I blow up the shuttle? I've got to know. All right, uh, I've got to know. Mad Wizard says, Ox, you missed the captain's chair. I mean, I saw the captain's chair, if I missed it, what, should I have sat in it? Recycled it? What do you what do you mean? This is just devious. Okay. So nothing happens. Uh, so according to everything that I just read, you get a bad ending in the game if you kill people. But the five people aboard the shuttle don't count towards the killing of the people on Talos 1. So you can kill them and still get the good ending. But they never tell you the outcome of that decision. So we never learn if there were any Typhon aboard the shuttle. Ah! <laughs> Good afternoon, Talos. Safety aboard Talos 1 is everyone's responsibility. Send all help requests or concerns to security at transstar.talos. Well, in that case, I'm not going to worry about it. So it's it's just a, a simple morality test. I wonder though if they're playing ex if if they're doing a vault tech, right? And they're putting these morality tests in the game and then collecting the data back on their servers to see what percentage of the players destroyed the shuttle and what percentage didn't. I mean, if I wasn't concerned with a good ending, that is making sure the fewest people die so I can get a good ending, I probably would have destroyed it. If I'm, if I'm honest. Okay. And we're back here to the escape pods. Okay, so that's where that went. Well, that was a uh, that was uh, quite a diversion. Still trying to get to Alex's office, but uh, we found the bridge. I hope he has a recycler and a fabricator in his office because I really need some more ammunition. Golden gun. That's right. He said something about a golden gun. Hold on. The, uh, the holotape said something about a golden gun, but we didn't find a golden gun. Let's see if we can find that golden gun. Scanning target, no type of material detected. No gun. Is it by the captain?
Okay, if she had the gun in her hand when she died, it would have skidded off this way. Golden gun could be a metaphor. That's true. Golden gun is on your quest list, is that right? Golden Gun Quest is in a different area. Golden Gun is in a safe in her room. Okay. Yeah, we, um, the holotape did talk about a golden gun, but I didn't find it here. So I'm not going to worry about it. Let's keep going. Revan stars <laughs> Revan star says love your stream Zox. I know you heard that a lot, but what else can I say? Hey, I never tr grow tired of it. It's okay. Keep it coming. I'll uh, I'll always appreciate it. All right, so I need to be able to get to the cabins. We passed by the cabins yesterday, but we weren't able to get in. Uh, let's see if that's changed. And I'm down again. Crew quarters. Yeah, we tried to get here earlier and we couldn't get down there. We don't have the key to the storage room. What's in the trees? A Sky King pomegranate. Oh, it's food. Yeah, so we still don't have the key card for the cruise quarters. I bet you we'll find that with Alex. So let's continue towards his office. I need to craft some ammunition. I'm getting low, even on my nine mil. I 
I hate that so much. I just hate it. Etheric Phantom? And I had to stop! Because I had to scan it. Ugh. That was awful. Specimens required. Deploying. Sensor reset. Oh, it killed it. Someone tipped me to say, hey, can Harry Price get a shout out so that he can stop whining about it in chat? Wahaha. Harry Price, there's your shout out. Someone in chat loves you. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. The water is glass, and it dropped down. This game is so cool. Look at that. I would have never thought that the water was glass, but I shot right through it. Etheric Phantom. Wow, we've got a lot to read. These are some that we missed. It's unclear at this time what prompts a weaver to invest additional resources in the creation of these more powerful phantoms. However, testing has revealed that these phantom specimens are much more durable and more dangerous than their weaker cousins. Addendum of particular note is the etheric phantom, which produces a particulate cloud, cloud that is highly toxic and disruptive to nor normal matter. Altus <laughs> Altair says, I don't love you. I just don't like whining. That's hilarious. Scan data, weakness, Q-beam, and I'm out of Q-beam ammunition. The greater mimic, a, pr a preliminary observation reveals that specimen 14 is moderately larger than any of the other mimic specimens collected from the collect uh, incident. But a far more fascinating aspect is what appears to be its advanced mimicry ability. Specimen 14 has on numerous occasions demonstrated the capacity of reproducing objects whose size and complexity far outstrip the abilities of any of the other specimens. What's more, many of these reproductions appear to be fully functioning. Oh no, weakness glue in Q-beam. Oxer at the right location for the golden gun, is that so? Telepath. The telepath is considered to be one of the most dangerous known typhon, capable of psychically controlling weaker willed organisms and even people. It is almost impossible to contain for further study. Warning, please note that subsequent to incident case blah blah blah, the creation containment of telepath class specimens is no longer perm permitted. The creation. So these were created. All personnel entering psychotronics are required to wear a psychoscope in addition to regular safety equipment. Unlock the elevator, Zox. I will. Mind-controlled human. Incident summary. I was on duty at about 1420 when I received a request from Dr. Hans Kelstrup to assist for assistance in live exam. Upon arriving at the scene, I witnessed Dr. Trevor Young slamming lab instruments 
into some of the Typhon enclosures. When it became clear that he intended to break containment, I was forced to discharge my stun gun to subdue him. During my subsequent interview with Dr. Young, he seemed immensely distraught and unaware of my presence until I came too close, whereupon he would turn violent. He has been turned over to the trauma team and placed in quarantine for his and others' safety. Morgan's note on the corrupted operator, corrupt, corrupted by some sort of Typhon ability, will try to incinerate you at close range. Keep away. Either freeze in place with glue cannon or knock out with EMP. Metal body shrugs off most rounds. Alright, well, do I drop down here, or do I continue exploring? Because I'm probably going to find a way down there. Given by Catherine Yu, May 23rd. On top of me. What was it hiding as? It was hiding as something on top. Okay, now how do I get up there? Good afternoon, Talos. Join us in congratulating Dr. Lorenzo Calvino, winner of the Employee Innovation Award this quarter. <laughs> okay, that's ridiculous. I gotta find another way up there. That's just annoying me. Though that tight space may be the best. So I can't get up there. Go to the recycler at the entrance. Okay. Finding bodies.
Okay, where's the entrance? Let's see if I can find my way back. I'm not even sure where I am. Arboretum. Storage area. Alex, the use office. Okay, so this way. Okay, I'll go back to the beginning and use the uh, recycler. respond because I cleared this area. Okay. Loading bay. It's unpowered. There's the recycler. Yeah, I can't... Uh, where I came from. How did I miss the neuromods on this guy's body? I could have sworn I looted them last time. I have way too many grenades. Now I've got an EMP charge that I don't need. Here's my Typhon lures. And everything else is food. Okay. Um... What do I need? Shotgun shells. Okay, then what is the weapon for, or the ammunition for the Q-beam? Because I'm out of ammo for that. Anti-red, medkit, Artax propulsion. Artax propulsion system, a propulsion module for microgravity maneuvering, which can be attached to your Transtar uniform, also assists with jumps and normal gravity. I already did that earlier in the game. Weapon gonna upgrade. Where's the... Disruptor batteries. I guess I can't craft that yet. Ox, read your chat. You're missing stuff. Fake rock near Ellie body key card, says Courtney. Yeah, I read chat. I can't key, uh, see everything. I'll do my best to continue to read everything. Um, I'll head back that way after I finish what I'm doing here. Um, okay, so I, I can't craft ammunition for my Q-beam.
Okay, well, at least I've got enough of that. Now, let's spend some of our Neuromods. Camouflage yourself by taking the form of a nearby object. That, I think, sounds like a lot of fun. Let's save first. PSI targeting. Some powers are triggered instantly by pressing mouse 2. Some powers are targeted. To stop time and enter PSI targeting mode, press and hold mouse 2. Use mouse to aim. Release mouse 2 to execute power. Press F to cancel. Captain? Did I... I thought... Your shift isn't for another two hours, but I need you to come in now. Is everything okay? No, it's not. Stop by my cabin first. Bring the gun from my safe. Transmitting the key code. Right away, Captain. Now I've got the golden gun. What? I had to install that first? Alex, this is Captain Marks. I'm calling to let you know I've authorized a full evacuation of Talos 1. I've tried to issue a mayday to Earthside operations, but our external communication systems are malfunctioning. If you're still with us, we're keeping our posts until the last pods are safely away. Marks out. Wow, the game really expected me to install some of the Typhon abilities earlier because I'm getting a ton of stuff that I wish I would have known earlier. <laughs> okay, um, so now I have the Golden Gun quest that you guys were trying to tell me about earlier. Um, the Golden Gun. Find Captain Mark's Golden Gun. It's in the crew quarters, though, and I still can't go there. Okay, uh, now to try out my ability, so I just spent all of that on, how do I? I'm a box! <laughs> Love it. Oh, that was great. <laughs> I'm glad I did that. Uh, but yeah, it consumes a lot of my PSI. Uh, let's take a look at neuro Neuromods again. So what's the next level of that? You can mimic slightly more complex machines. Now the nightmares will hunt me down even harder. All right. Backlash. Oh, now that would be a cool ability. Creates a shield around me. A, n a nullify sci attack.
Use your mind to retrieve distant objects and, and interact with devices up to 10 meters away. Oh, dear. That, I see, would become very useful. But let's continue focusing on this. I need to start uh, specking into health and all of that, but... Uh, metabolic boost. Effective med kits. Hacking, hacking 3. I, I don't know about that yet. Sonic aptitude. Leverage 3. I need to upgrade my glue gun. So I'd love lab tech. Ah, this is what I wanted. Combat focus. Enter a state of combat focus for 10 seconds in which time slows around you and actions cost 50% stamina. And this simply improves it. All right. Combat focus enhances your overall abilities when active time slows around you and actions cost less stamina. At higher levels, your combat damage will also increase. Combat focus can be equipped from the favorite's wheel. So it counts as uh, So it consumes PSA a PSI like a special ability And that's how I switch between them Okay, cool Now should we use Yep, craft more neuromods. I should probably craft more neuromods. Well, how many do I want and how many do I need? Let's uh, continue working on. Let's start. Let's start going through here. All right, so for my next one, I need three, either level. Which one do I want to max out? There's mobility, increases overall movement speed, run, sneak, climb, and sprint 25% faster, increases your stamina to 125, increases your health to 150. Let's work on health. So to fully max out health, I'm going to need 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Shall we try that? 16 neuromods. 1, 2... Seven. 
right, I've doubled my health. Now, maybe the nightmares won't kill me in one hit. All right, how am I doing on resources here? I still have a ton. Wow, look at all of that I've got. Let's, let's see what else we can do while we're here. We maxed out toughness. Let's try for mobility. So that's nine. Oh, 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 man, what am I low on? Synthetic material. Ooh, so I ran out of synthetic material. Okay, well... That's not going to get me all the way up there. I could get up to this one, but let's see what else I can spend this on. I could upgrade, upgrade my suit. Yeah. More inventory space and allow more installation of two additional chipsets. Let's do it. Now, where am I at on neuromods? I've got one left. I'll save it for now. Okay, let's reorganize. Actually, I can use my, up, my upgrade kits. Let's, um... Firepower is maximized. Let's turn this into a real sniper pistol <laughs> and upgrade its range. One more. Uh, then I'll have to work on accuracy, but I'm out for now. Okay, there's my material. Do I have another weapon I can put down there? No. Okay. Now let's go back to see what we missed. Okay, there's the pool of water. I could hop down into whatever is down there, but I don't know where that will lead yet. I'll go down there in a minute.
And I can't get up there. How would I get up there? The Starbender Cycle, Book Four, backstabbed in the face. Okay, we've we haven't read this yet. Excerpt from Book Four of the Starbender Cycle by Fetcher McGavin. Trevor's breath fogged up the glass of the airlock door, obscuring the faces of the Royal Ast Astronomer and Mercy. Smirking her signature smirk at him from the other side. Breathe shallow, Pulsar, the astronomer menace, menaced, for these breaths be your last breaths. Now that I have the prism, the dark star anomaly is under my control, and all the galaxy shall... The astronomer didn't finish because he was interrupted by his head being exploded by a blast from Mercy's face pistol. His remaining words were placed by the muted clattering of his teeth against the other side of the airlock door. White breath fog. Oh my gosh. White breath fog mingled with red mist on the airlock glass, casting Trevor in a pink glow. What? <laughs> uh, you say there's a unique sentence everywhere, right? Nothing personal, Trevor, Mercy said. I'm sure this thing will fetch a nice price on the Thaxian black market. And with that, she kicked the airlock button, sending Trevor tumbling out into the unloving black of space. Okay, everyone is saying save. Will do. Let's do a quick save. Baseball glove. Oh. Synthetic material as baseballs. You see that? That's great. Holy cow, look at my health. All the way at 300? All right, look at this. Here we go. This is what I wanted. Now, how to get over on top of there. Oh, I can't reach it from here. There's that tree, I suppose. Ellie Gould. Hello. Storage room, A2 key. Fantastic. Now, to see if I can find a way to get on top of there. Could I climb up that tree? Oh, it doesn't like to stick to the glass. Go. Yesterday's batch was an abysmal failure. Piss poor root initiation. However, Dr. Lin from Psychotronics was kind enough to provide me with a sample of material that should multiply the effectiveness of the phytohormones when applied to already mature plants. I expect reduced time to maturity, increased yield, and an above normal salutary effect. Hopefully, it doesn't taste like shit. I just need permission to run the plan through the fabricator. <clears throat> okay, and then a growth formula. Gardening tips. Find Dr. Julian Howard. All right, I found Howard. Fabricate the growth formula. Oh, that w that's going to bring me all the way back there. Okay. There we go. That leads down there. So, but what was he doing up here? That's the weird thing. 
Well, let's go back to the greenhouse. Here I am, so close to Alex's office. But then I get uh, an update for this quest. So let's go back to the greenhouse. But let's also go back the way we came, because now we can unlock that storage closet. Which we passed on the way up here. Now. Wait, what's that? There's just so much over here that I haven't explored yet. Ah. Do I go down? I really want to see what's down there. All right, let's go find the storage closet and then complete the Arboretum quest thing. Storage AR1. I already, I was already there. There was storage AR2, which I needed. And I think that's down this way. That's right, it was in the uh, crew's quarters. On the way to the crew quarters. Storage AR2. Lawrence Baxter. this he was having like a, a meal back here Lawrence Baxter playing cards having a nice meal all right uh, somebody said something about so installing a chipset that regenerates Psy over time because I, I am starting to use it now Slowly regenerate Sai over time. So which one do I get rid of? <laughs> the, the shotgun critical chance? Ah. I need to unlock more chipsets. How many neuromods do I have? Three. How do I unlock more Sai chipsets? Here. Oh, so I got to get five to be able to unlock more. Well, might as well get this. That fully heals my side. Okay, then back to the greenhouse to complete that quest. The phantom you killed was the lover of the woman you got the key card from. He was waiting for her with wine and roses, but got turned into a phantom. That makes sense. All right, well, let's hope this big guy hasn't respawned. Oh wait, this wasn't where this wasn't where the quest was. The quest was over here. Yeah. Wait a minute. 
minute. Gardening tips. Fabricate the, for the, the growth formula. The station botanist, Julian Howard, came up with a new formula that he says could revolutionize food by giving humans that eat it an immediate health boost. The fabrication plan for the formula was on his body, and the formula itself can be used in the sprinkler system in the arboretum repeatedly to yield very beneficial fruit. Okay. You have to craft the formula first, Ox? Oh! Oh, okay. That makes sense. Well, let's do that. Dr. Howard's growth formula. Place the growth formula in the sprinkler control system. Scanning target error. Insufficient type of material. That's the quest item. Harvest your fruit after the growth cycle is complete. Okay, so I gotta come back, huh? All right, looks like I got to come back. Actually, do I have anything to recycle? Yeah, I do. Might as well use that while I'm here. Mission item, can't recycle. Okay, let's head back towards our primary mission objective. There's the broken glass. There's the bridge. There's my broken turret. And this leads to deep storage. So that's where I need to go for the main quest. Where's this go? Alex used office and it's locked. Oh, I need four to hack it. Ah.
So it looks like I'll be putting some into Hacker. And this is completely unconnected. So I'm going to drop down here. Back to the lobby. I see. I see where it brought me. Everything go well? Eventually. I had to wait a while. Two assholes from the sales team chose that exact moment to stand under the alarm bell and smoke cigars. So it's off Talos. My clients are eager. Yeah. Just made the last shipment. Should be Earthside by morning, Pacific time. Good. I'll be leaving another package for you after tomorrow's shift. Drop site? The lobby. Assuming it works. Of course it works. Three taps of the wrench. That'll pop it open. All of them will work that way by tomorrow. You're adorable when you get proud of your gadgets. Don't patronize me, Lily. Smuggling ring. New objective. Find all six drop points around Talos and recover the stolen goods in them. Well, well, well. I've discovered two of six. Looks like I'll have to keep looking. Anti-red pharma fabrication plan. <clears throat> no, I need uh, the fabrication plan for my Q-beam. That's what I need. I think this just leads to the other side. Alien research, new Typhon ability, Phantom Shift 1. Well, 
Well, that was messy. Messy. But I survived. This puts me out on the other side. Oh my goodness. Q-beam cells, yeah! Now if only I could find the recipe so I could craft some. Up, down, up, down. Good evening, Talos. Dr. Hadley Dalton down. will deliver a supplemental seminar on neural connectome. Hey! Shotgun fabrication plan. I'm getting all sorts of fabrication plans, but not really the one I want. I want Q-Beam. Q-Beam ammunition. Reployer? Are there really exotic materials inside a reployer? Gardening tips. Looks like I can go get my fruit. Okay, yeah, so some good stuff in a reployer. I suppose I should use my recycler grenades more often. Okay, that's back up there. Let's go up now. Q-beam cells tend to drop from operators. All right, I'll have to keep an eye out. Oh no, bring your child to work day. Psychoshock amp, new chipset. Boosts the amount of damage done by Psychoshock. I think that might be it. Q-beam ammo schematics are found in the black box room. Oh, okay, so I need that's why I need to get to the black box room. Ooh, there's more above us. Is this another pool?
And that's where I came from. Okay, I think I got it. Well, let's head back. Because we're starting to get everything here. We need to head to ha uh, Hardware Labs now. Boy, Pip says, hi, Oxhorn from France. Hello all the way from France. What's this, an elevator? An elevator up to the Wu residence. I need to get hacking four so that I can get up into his office. Yeah. Alex used office. That is hacking four. Okay, where are my neuromods at? I've got two neuromods. I only have hacking two. Wow, I need hacking four. So that's a lot of neuromods. All right, well, let's go to deep storage. That's what's left. Oh, my fruit. <laughs> okay, there's always something that sends me back. I keep trying to go forward and no. Okay. Let's go get my fruit. Hey, what's this? Dr. Howard Superfruit. Okay. That fully healed me. So does this mean I have to come back? Fertilizer dispenser. Nope. Is that... Nope, that doesn't work. So I can't compost my bananas? So I just have to craft more from the fabricator. Okay. Don't know if it's really worth the effort. Scanning target typhoon material inconclusive. Logging calibration request. Unlock the lobby elevator before you go ahead. Why? I think it's already unlocked. Yeah, I could go to the lobby that way, right? That's already unlocked. Joe Pringle says, great stream. Hi again from England. Hello. All the way in Blighty. Mark submitted. Okay, let's go to deep storage. Quick save. Alley-oop. Huzzah! just brings me back outside.
Ivy, what is it? How's it coming? I, I can't get this damn thing open. Where's Danielle? Still not answering. What's wrong? Danielle tied the lock to her voice. We need her to speak the key phrase or we're not getting in here. Would voice samples work? Transcribe recordings? Yes, if they have the right words. Or if we gathered enough to map her voice to a consonant and vowel list and started running patterns. I'll see if I can find her. Or her transcribe. I'll check her room first. All right, Ivy, but look, don't do anything stupid, okay? Ivy? Ivy? Shit. Damn it, Danielle, where are you? Oh no, am I gonna go after to track down Daniel? It's unlikely Chief Show is still alive. I advise you follow Zachary West's strategy. Pack together voice samples. Your transcribe is equipped with the necessary software. It's how you made my voice. Danielle's cabin might be a good place to get started. Okay. Crew quarters. Note. Gordon Baffles treasure map. What? Okay, Horden Baffles Treasure Map. <clears throat> Key does says you need to go through there to fix the elevator manually. There's something you must do before you can use it from the other side. Oh, so is that what Brian was trying to tell me? Okay, well, I'll do that then. Uh, so trying to understand this treasure map, we've got an eyeball in the lower right-hand corner with an arrow pointing to the right, and then three large circles. So this is a schematic floor plan of a room with three large circles and then B2. Okay. So we can't go here anyway, voice locked. All right, let's, uh, I guess let's go unlock the elevator. And to do that, we got to go to the lobby. Then we can go to the crew quarters. Hi there, greetings from Germany. Hi there, uh, Gibi. Good to have you here. Okay, so we've been broadcasting for two hours. Got about two more. Alex's office can be reached now, says Aurora Alchemy. What, without hacking? Morning. That Typhon is an unknown type. From what I can tell, it's the source of the problem with the lift. The Phantom you unleashed in Psychotronics had similar disruptive abilities, only this one seems more powerful. Scanning it will tell you more. <laughs> New type of ability, Remote Manipulation. Press N to view available abilities. Well, I'm really unlocking a lot of abilities. Remote Manipulation. Use your mind to retrieve distant objects and interact with devices. Okay, do I need to scan any more? Because I think I've unlocked everything. Nope, there's that last one. All right, how am I going to kill this guy?
<laughs> what the heck? And then I lose? Get out of there! Nice work. The lift is responding again. That Typhon hijacked the hardware, even the software running the system all the way down to the machine code. Reprogramming it on the fly. Fascinating. And alarming. I can patch up the code. You should be fine. Take the lift if you need to move quickly between the three main decks on Talos 1. It has a stop in the lobby and down in life support. Okay. Alex! Damn it. Hold on. I'm encrypting the rest of this. New objective, do no harm. Download DeVries decryption key. Tell us what lobby. Well, I've got his office key now. Okay, so that's now working. That would take me back to the main... Oh. Well, isn't that cool? Arboretum, lobby, or life support. I just came from life support, didn't I? You can now unlock Debris' office. That's great. Thank you very much. Yeah, I needed that card. Back to the Arboretum. New objective, heal, <laughs> says Ja Henson. Good point. I hate using my resources for that, though. I wonder if I can find a, uh, a robot to heal me. Uh, still, at my life right now, I have almost what I had before I upgraded my, uh, my suit. Oh no, don't tell me everything respawned. Oh god, I hope nothing respawned. Deep storage. Is Alex's office still locked? Yeah. Still locked. Go to Med Bay for medical operator dispenser. Yeah, but I'm already here. Let's go to deep storage. I'll just use my my stuff. Let's see. I've only got two neurobots. I really want to get hacker. Okay, let's uh, heal ourselves. I've got 20 of these med kits. Might as well use them, right? Suit integrity. Okay, I think I'm doing all right. Alley up. Oh, wait, no. No, 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 no. I'm going to crew. Crew, crew, crew. way up to Alex's office? Oh, yeah, I suppose I could. <laughs> I could, couldn't I? Because 
that's where his safe is. Oh man, I'm so tempted. I'm under his office now. We can find a way to get on up there. Hello. Aha! Victory. The office of Alex Yu, president and CEO. There it is. Let's go around really quickly. Nice digs, man. This guy's looking at living in a mansion. Okay, so he was looking at me. Terraforming Mars. Excerpts from an article on the colonization of Mars. I don't think I've read this, but the cost of these Mars installations and their continued maintenance is staggering. And their Spartan shells are a far cry from the idyllic colonies pictured by turn-of-the-century inspirational space tourist posters. All that might be about to change. In a rare interview, trans star president Alex Yu revealed his vision of a Mars where families in short sleeves... Okay, I have read this. I gotta just stop reading these. Alexander Watson says, Oxhorn, every time I hear your voice, you sound like Tom Hanks, like you could replace his voice acting in one of his movies. <laughs> I've never... I never... I was never told that I sounded like Tom Hanks until I started doing YouTube. But now I get that comment quite a lot. <laughs> I'm not mad. That's fine. I, I can... I'll do Tom Hanks. Can I get up there? Yep, maybe over here. What's that? A little floating pod? Hello, what is that? No! What is that up there? Stand clear. Maybe I've got controls inside Yu's office. Let's try that. We used to sneak into my room when we were kids. I get to my computer. I still remember when you ruined my Galactic and Keystador save files. I broke your arm when I found out. I regret that now. But I'm still not fond of you messing with my stuff. International Art Talos Edition. The Transcar uh, Star Corporation commissioned several high-profile artists to create works exclusively for Talos One, the orbital research and development facility that has brought the neural mods and many other technological wonders. Renowned Belgian sculptor Frederick Smart sculpted the work Smoke Signals, which forms the centerpiece of the employee dining hall. 
The installation artist, simply known as Jesse, constructed the chain of marbled glass panels which soar gracefully overhead on the Telos One lobby. And former street artist Patrick O designed a series of exclusive posters for Transtar featuring impressions of orbit. Eclipse and other celestial themes in his signature geometric style. He also developed the Neuromod promotional image featuring the likeness of actor Daisy Prince. Transtar president Alex Yu commented, Art inspires, fires our creativity, and makes us look beyond our present circumstances to what might be possible. Midnight Song is a classic anthology of Tang Dynasty verse. We saw this. This is what uh, the viewers translated. Weapon upgrade kit. Lots of glass. Oh, sorry, Alex. That's back outside. Too far, too fast. The Reagan era signaled the end of the government's strong support for the space race. Space, space now belongs to only the interested few, those who could afford it. Historians argued that had Reagan pushed for a military justification and with the right marketing, then perhaps the space program might have survived. However, without a significant threat to the U.S., there seemed l uh, little incentive. Our only other competitor, the Soviet Union, had already showed the danger of reaching too far too fast. KR says, don't use the escape pod. Okay, I won't. The Neural Horizon. I asked Brandy if she felt betrayed by her paraplexus. She nodded, not in agreement, but understanding my point, because they discovered they could map my brain, but I can't accept a neural mod myself. Her smile became firmer. I think that makes the gift more meaningful. It would be a year before it was quietly decided by Transtar to receive no further neural maps, connectomeres, from paraplexus patients, citing unspecified ri risks. So mapping a human brain can cause paraplexus? Is that what we're supposed to... Uh Oh, I don't have the password for his office yet. But I do have the password for his safe. And I can't hack it. I need hacker four. Where's his safe? Hello. Good evening, Talos. As a reminder, all personnel must complete monthly physicals during their stay aboard Talos 1. Dr. DeVries promises to make them as quick and painless as possible. Zero, seven, six, seven. Oh, psychotic converter. Alex used sweet. Search Alex's office safe. Who is December? Now I need to search his room in the crew quarters. Well, I'm glad I came here before we went to the crew quarters. Once things get as bad as they probably are, your only option is to escape. Get the word out about what's happening on Talos 1. Alex has a private escape pod. It's locked up. I made a copy of the key and hid it on top of the data tower, near the chair. You know the one I'm talking about. Listen, there's more at stake this time than just us, or this station. If just one of those creatures made it back home, then we're lost. I keep having this dream. I'm just staring into the black between the stars. There's something there. I know there is. I just can't see it. But it sees me. I can feel it. Hate us. I know you know what I'm talking about. Or you will. Soon. Okay, what did he say?
Once things get as bad as they probably are, your only option is to escape. Get the word out about what's happening on Talos 1. Alex has a private escape pod. It's locked up. I made a copy of the key and hid it on top of the data tower near the chair. On top of the data tower near the chair. On top of the data tower near the chair. And now I feel even worse about allowing those um, people to land on, on Earth in Seattle. Data tower during the ch near the chair. Data tower. Well, I have to look for a data tower. Don't worry about the chair. You already got it, says Brian. I mean, there's the pod. There's the chair. Did I already get it? Chipset ox. Oh, that, that's right. Did I get a new chipset? Uh, suit chipsets. FF slide, backlash, okay, scope chipsets. Man, I've got all of these scope chipsets. Psycholytic converter. When Psymeter is empty, powers will consume health instead. Ah! Oh, I don't think I want that one. Boosts the amount of damage done by Psychoshock. Electric burst. Reduces the psi cost. I need to upgrade this. That's what I need to do. Destroy the crystal on the sideboard near the door. Go up back in the office. Okay, uh, let me go back to his office, and then we'll go to the crew quarters, finally. Two hours trying to get uh, to this part of the quest. <laughs> crystal, 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 crystal. <sighs> Destroy the crystal on the sideboard near the door, says Ember. I don't know what you mean. Oh! That statue was worth a lot of money, Morgan. <laughs> I'm going to be charitable and assume you scuffled with a typhon and didn't just break it out of spite. <laughs> How did he know? I mean, if he... He must be watching me. He must be watching me, but then he would know what I did. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, thank you for that. Well, um... Moving on. Okay, I opened that. I explored that. Did I do everything I could in here? Security door, area map. I think I downloaded the map, but just in case.
I still don't have this mantle. Ooh. Sweet. Down we go. Quick save. Yes. Phoenix says, have you gotten the golden pistol? Not yet. Not yet. I think the crew quarters is the key to getting the golden pistol. Reminds me of uh, what? Golden eye? They had a golden gun there as well. Golden eye. <clears throat> You, I see you. Another puppet. Looking for me with black eggs behind your eyes. Come closer. Yes. A little closer. Mind Jack 1. Who's the one who was telling me to get closer? <laughs> Stupid puppets. What? You too? You want to come into a kitchen? Good. Come. The cook's request. No Can you get me? Can you? You can kill me with them? Whoever you are, run. There is no more fool here except you. If you are still a hold of your brain, good. Others here? Or not? Shoot first before they get close. The puppets! Bob! I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him if that if I if I use that. The master is close. Kill this or puppets or both. But do it before they kill you. When no more puppets, <laughs> maybe we talk. Okay, I remember this. Uh, oh, this is gonna be
Did I really use it all up? I did. Now you join them. <sighs> I'm the, my only option is either go back to a recycler and make more ammunition or Ah, dang it. I can kill him, but but preventing the other guys from dying, that's the issue. Did she get too close? Yep. Wow. Wow. No wave transmitter and for the Technopath EMP devices. You think the, the no wave... There's a storage closet with a fabricator near the entrance. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll do that boss in a minute. Medical bag.
fantastic. Okay. So I've got that up the stairs, Zox. Okay. I'll go up the stairs. Hope he stays in the med bay. I don't want him to get killed. Yeah. There he is. Secured pharmaceuticals. Whew, Regina Sellers. Sorry, Regina. See you again, Dr. Yu. Diagnosing. Oh, Please fill out a patient. Authorized personnel only. That's me, hey. Mike, when you're heading up to Exec Suites to fix the cooling system, uh, the, the cooling system there, can you bring Morgan these supplies? By the way, the code to the grav shaft has changed. It's 8479, thanks. By the way, your video has a number stating this is scotch and smoke rings, does it really? No, no it doesn't. Sometimes YouTube messes up and doesn't update, um, update that correctly, but I, uh, I put in the correct prey thumbnail and updated the name of it. Thanks, Kev. Okay, so we've got that. Synthetic material, plastic tubing, whatever that is. More children's drawings. Disruptor batteries, all right. <laughs> I don't even have to craft any. I found some on the shelf. How many disruptor batteries did I get? I don't even see them. Hundred and eighty six. Yeah, I don't need to worry about that. But let's take the opportunity to break everything down. There's my disruptor batteries. We'll keep those there. I've got my recycler charges. Let's organize food. Tons of food. Bust items. Okay. Yeah, I made sure to update the title of this broadcast, so it shouldn't be saying Scotch and Smoke Rings. It may just be that YouTube hasn't updated it for you. Um. Oh, the hashtag. You're talking about the hashtag? Thank you. Let me fix that right now. There, give that a bit, and we should be good to go. Aurora says you can update your weapons, and I think your Q-beam, to save space and improve ammo consumption th uh, through damage increase. Yeah, but I don't want to upgrade my Q-beam until I actually have the fabricator plan for the ammunition, because uh, otherwise I'm just not going to use it. Like I would, I would have used this thing to take down, take down that guy. I just run out of ammunition so quickly. But uh, you do raise a good point. I have a lot of weapon upgrade kits in my inventory, so let's go ahead and use them to save space. Let's finish fully upgrading this guy. Magazine capacity, which is going to... Yeah, sure. Why not? There we go. Okay, let's save... And then let's go try that, that encounter again.
Oh, disruptor gun ammo right here. Now you join them. You I still come lost to the kitchen one. window. How did I still Let lose me see one? You. How did I still lose one? Or was he already dead? But no, his head has exploded. That one guy was dead already? New psionic aptitude available. Okay, so I'm all right. The chat is saying that this guy was already dead. He was stuck in the glue, so I'm not going to You should have saved your upgrades for the golden gun, really? I can always craft more. Reservation? Scanner? Welcome, Morgan You. <laughs> I've got a reservation. Okay. Before we go and talk to this strange guy and he's yelling at me through the kitchen window, let's uh, explore a little bit. Chef Will Mitchell. Okay, so we're getting uh, the restaurant here, the exotic restaurant. On board Talos 1. Hopefully these guys are going to feel better. Okay, Survivor, 33 meters. Is this that sculpture we read about in that book? The big art installation? Eh, it's not doing much for me. minute there I thought she was oh no she is dead but I think she was dead already hence all the blood okay here's the big dining room Hello. Hello. How 
how are you today? Good. Did you guys play fast? Yeah. Yeah? You were pretty late. You were sleeping late, huh? You know where Mama is? Yeah. I don't know. Do you know? Mama, Mama is in the bedroom. Oh, she's in the bedroom? Yeah, he's resting. He's resting? Sorry about that. The little one was hungry and wanted a snack. M98 says, thank you for your good and entertaining videos. Greetings from Austria. All the way from Austria. Well, thank you very much. Nope. <laughs> Security breach by little one. Did Ox get raided? Yeah. Yep, I got raided by the munchkin. Ooh, wow, a lot of them here. Man, this is a jackpot for finding corpses. Oh, this guy's got his head stuck in the table. Oh, nope, no head there. Okay, do we go to the kitchen or go up to the top dining room? Let's go up to the top dining level. Man, this place is beautiful. I want to eat here. Maybe I'm just hungry because I missed breakfast. That's probably what it is. I have to go get a coffee. Ooh, and another headless guy. Thomas Lutz. Daisy White. God. How many people died aboard the Telos One? This is insane. Okay. Any, um, any alarms for secret stashes? No. I'm not seeing any. Okay, so that's the kitchen. That's where I'm going to meet the guy. Let's go to this other dining area. Your suit. What is in your name tag? You? Um, am you? Am you? You killed this yourself. Ah. If you want to come in, be safe. You go. Get something of mine, huh? Here, key. It opens my room. Go there. Get my award. It's important to me. Then, maybe we talk. He wants, he wants me to go get a cooking award? Oh, come on, really? <clears throat> Everyone on the ship is dead, and what does he think? Well, we need this award so that people 
will know exactly how awesome I am. But oh wait, all the people who would know how awesome I am are dead. But that's not important. Just, you know, if they ever came back to life, then they could see the award and know how awesome I am. Okay, this guy's logic is uh, astounding. <laughs> Man, just looking at this place, the amount of money to put all of this on Earth, let alone in space, just boggles the mind. Oh! Nasty! Whoa, lots of blood. No matching key card. that light coming from? I think we've got a glitch or something because there's light coming through this wall. Okay, I think that's it for dining. Oh! I guess it's, um... Oh, man, so it's not... It's not working. Right! True quarters. Kida says, Originally, the, qu the quest wanted you to prove your humanity by bringing him something to prove you weren't a monster. Eventually, they cut all of that out and went directly to bringing the award. <laughs> So there's another one? is controlling people. Oh, there's another one. Okay, well I can't believe there were still some walking around after I killed that creature. Save! Alright, good idea. I'm gonna... Let's do a hard save. It's been a while since I've done a hard save. Oh, I see something moving over there. I hear something. Recreation center. I haven't been here.
blazes. But I didn't get the chance to research it. I killed it too quickly. Let me try that with the with the uh, the mask on so that I can actually catch it. Scanned it. Oh, man, I'm loving this slow time thing. Whoo. Oh, I'm so glad I got that slowing time thing. That is just um, really saving my bacon. Okay, this guy's already dead. Bruce Cobb. And they shined the light on him. Oh, I got the poltergeist. Make sure that the other guy didn't die. Still alive? Yeah. Still alive. Whew. Man, I'm so glad I, upgra I upgraded that shotgun. Freaky. <laughs> that was freaky. Hey, video game controllers. Looks like there were a bunch of gamers here in the crew quarters. Fatal Fortress game, uh, Game Master's Tom, 6th edition. Excerpt from the 6th edition. Greetings, Game Master. Fatal Fortress is a world deprived of sunlight. As Game Master, you will guide a troop of stalwart adventurers through glittering caves crawling with rat men into battles against horrors that have slept for centuries and deep into the secret heart of the Fatal Fortress itself. Unlike other games, the Fatal Fortress has no set character classes, instead encouraging players to play their own way by mixing and matching abilities as they are faced with new challenges. This game also features a dramatic magic system where players create their own spells by drawing and combining runes. Each player will need a character record sheet and a miniature to represent their character on the combat map. A full set of polyhedral dice and a thirst for danger. That music, okay. I get it, scary. Yes, 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 nails on chalkboard, come on. Thank you, man, that was just awful. Ah, no.
Ooh, and I didn't notice that when I entered. Look at that. Right outside teleconferencing. And there's a hatch in the middle of the wall. All right. Uh, Elias has... Stab fellow! Stab fellow has vanished into the darkness beyond the tower door. The only sign of him is his blood trail. But as you watch, the flagstones seem to drink in the blood. The cracks glistening red. Oh, Jesus Christ on a stick, Abigail. Don't be such a baby. We either head through the door... Oh, forget that. It just ate our warrior. Unless you can handle the entire pack of rat men, oh spellless wonder, we don't have much choice. <laughs> Elias? Sorry. Stabfellow? Captain Stabfellow! Can I answer her? Hell no! <laughs> you hear nothing from the darkness. It has swallowed Stabfellow completely. All right. Let me light a torch. Hey, guys. Sorry I'm late. Station-wide OS upgrade. Had to hold Bellamy's hand through the whole process. Abby, do you have my character sheet? You made it. Yes. Right here. Processing at 40%. Another treasure map. Oh, for Stabfellow. Stabfellow's treasure map. So there's a treasure map for each of the people who played the game. Captain Stabfellow. Rosalind Swift. Remember, blind ogres can call for help with gongs. Try to distract Flag Dastrous <laughs> from using White Gem against Necro. Plus one lock bonus to whomever figures out Drip's Riddle. Horde and Baffle Flag Dastrous. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that was, uh, that was amusing. Let's see here. It's a little too high. Can I look at those maps at any time? Notes. Cordon Baffle Flag Dastard. <laughs> it's, just, it's just great. Okay, a map for Stab Fellow. So we do have a big staircase and an eye. Treasure map for Horden Baffle Flag Dastard. B2. L2. Oh, wow, they had it up here. There's the world map. There's the Fatal Fortress. Melindra Shadow Corner. Wow, what a cool way to play this game. Okay, so when I go down to teleconferencing, we're going to have a big hole in the wall there that I don't want to forget. Oh. Where?
Okay, got the mimic. All right, let's go around to the other side. Is this, uh... This is a dead end, huh? So wait a minute, what's all that? I could sail across over there. But you know what, I think I want to go back and go the way it was intended so I don't miss anything. I'm not going to waste my scrap on that. Well, I might as well. Error. Insufficient Typhon material found. Standing down. Okay. So wait a minute. This is the other way? Oh, no, 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 no. That's the way I came. From over here? Hold on a second. Hold on. Gotta get my bearings. I came in through here. But how is this now blocked off? Oh, the poltergeist did it. <laughs> the poltergeist did it. Oh, man. Okay, well, let's go... Um, Let's see what we can find up there. The poltergeist tried to lock me in here. Oh. Happy birthday, Daddy. Connecting to satellite. Connection established. New message found retrieving. Transfer file. I made you a present, but you'll have to open it when you get home because your company has lame rules. Guess what? I finally trotted with Lita. It was awesome. Um, what else? Oh, Ren peed in one of your cowboy boots. <laughs> Sorry. I really miss you. Tell Mr. Yu I said kids should be allowed in space. Well, I guess that's all for now. I love you. Mwah. Oh, let's just hope that he didn't die. Right. Nope, there's nothing for it. Let's just uh, do it. Oh, there's no lip over there.
radiation. Whoa, where's that radiation coming from? I do have anti-rad though, so I'm not gonna worry about it for right now. Oh, he's sick. That's where the radiation was coming from. <laughs> I'm glad I shot that out. A Killer Inside with Gary Lee, James Bradley and Joan Stewart the Owl, Transgressions, <laughs> Antonio Frolka. Right. Looks like trans Transgressions was playing. Technology? So I found your sticky note. The one under the desk, with your password. Wait, you were under my desk? Look, you need to keep your password safe, all right? I'm watching out for you because I love you. You love me? I love you enough to crawl under your desk. I totally wasn't looking for the pen I dropped. Flatter. Sticky note under the desk. Reserve here, reservation here. Please swipe your tracking bracelet to recall your reservation. Cigars for everyone aboard the Talos One. One thing about this particular universe, it's uh, smoker friendly. <laughs> Oh, I see. So each of these were different theaters. Man, this really was a city, wasn't it? Which one is this? Well, we don't know which one it was. Rising Stars. Antonio Frolica, star of the summer blockbuster Transgressions, did all of his own death-defying stunts in the film. This eccentric A-lister has played the action star in a dozen films now, after a long hiatus has returned in better form than ever. I've already read this. Doggone it, I keep reading the same things over and over again.
Oh, there's another. I'll try it in a minute. Hey, Axe, do you think they've watched Star Wars up here? Maybe. Maybe for the sake of irony. All right, I gotta go try that. Okay, that's it for up here. The yellow tulip. Oh, this brings me to the other side. I see. That's where I was a moment ago. And this is where I killed that mimic. The yellow tulip. Let's see what the yellow tulip is. In a minute, let's go downstairs first, I guess. What's this? Authorized personnel only. Oh! And we've come full circle. Look at that. Excess bolt caster. Excess stun gun. Excess wrench. Excess glue caster. Bingo. All right, and then that goes back to the very beginning, the entrance, which means, although these pipes are interesting, and those little platforms up there. Oh, hey! Where's the next one? I can hear it talking. Is it on the other side of this door? Yellow Tulip Supply Closet. Something horrible happened here. I hope it's not a poltergeist. Tizzy. Okay, I got the key to the supply closet off of Tizzy. Tizzy the barkeep robot. I love it. There's 
There's also a maintenance hatch. Where is this coming from? Well, let's try the supply closet first. Hester, Jenny Garbenstomp, Note, the escape pods didn't work and we believe it was intentional. Those black shapes are everywhere and everyone we know is dead, or something worse. We aren't going to let that happen to us. Our families, we love you. Brandy Pitt Pester and Jenny Garbenstomp. Quite a lot. Scanning target error. Insufficient Typhon material found. Standing down. <clears throat> right. Well, if that's it for the closet, then I guess we'll go through that hatch. Some dude says, Ox, only the bells with red lights above them are stashes. Okay. Thanks for the heads up. It'll save me a lot of paper. And what have I found myself? Or where have I found myself? What is this place? Ah. Oh. accidentally destroyed my turret here. Oh. <laughs> you all right? Okay. Okay, so a greater a greater mimic came for me and I got it. Now, uh, what was I looking at? I was looking at some sort of passage up here. It goes through the wall. Okay, I need to find a wall without glass. There we go. Silas, like 
the heck? <laughs> this is just disturbing. Fitness center. That's what I kept hearing. Mind Jack 3! New sound. I'm gonna quick save. Aptitude available. What do you want from me? Babcock with a wonderful death. Thank you very much, Luke. Smack the glass by the pool a few times. Okay, I can do that. Man, those buggers are tough. But I think we did it. Did we save every guy? Woo wee. Yeah. I think we did it. Unconscious. Unconscious. Okay. Glass appropriately smacked. Doesn't nothing seem to happen. <laughs> what a creepy environment. All those people in the pool. Man, that was well made. Look at all this mist up there. Oh, what's that? Oh, is that the glass you're talking about? But does that just r wrap around here? Oh, hello. 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 Hey, what's up?
Okay, where was I? Okay. Um, I found this. Oh, with red lights. Kinesthetic. Kinesthetic what? Kinesthetic assister. Increases the movement and aiming speed while firing the glue cannon or Q-beam. Okay. Uh, might as well. I've got plenty of slots in my suit. It's my scope that I need more slots for. 15 minutes to go, Ox. Thank you, Michael. Yeah, this broadcast has just gone by so quickly. Man, and I want to keep playing too. That's the frustrating thing. Why is it pointing at him? Was he part of the quest? All right. Well, move, 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 Ox. You're running out of time. Okay, we got a door. Bathroom, locker, hold on, let's see if we can. I know I need to loot the bodies, I'll get everything, there you go. So that just leads to fitness. Okay, I'm glad I didn't waste time trying to get up here. But from here. Anything beyond those fans, no? Where does this go? Probably don't want to go there yet, according to the music. <laughs> music is starting to get eerie, that's always a sign. Locker room. Oh man, I have to take, I have to examine every one of these lockers, don't I? Donna Culera, so that's the brand of cigars they smoke. Donna Culera. Those foam darts are everywhere. It's like everybody had that little toy gun that they played with. Ike Stewart is unconscious. Did I knock him out? No light above that one. Go back to glass by pool? I don't understand. I've been to the glass by the pool. I mean, this just leads outside and that glass goes up to the fitness room. So I'm sorry, I don't know uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to what you mean by going back to the glass by the pool. Now 
Neuromod in the fitness area with all the treadmills. Yeah, I'm gonna be heading up there next. Lead scrap. The employee profile. And we've read that already. A beginner's guide to yoga. Yoga is an excellent way for those with physical series of neuromod enhancements to grow more in tune with their new capabilities. This is not only enriching, but provides a measure of safety, preventing you from hurting yourself or others. The Javelin Asana. This pose is a good starting place for testing your new extended limits, combining strength with balance. The pose begins with a basic handstand and will end with your body completely inverted, all of your weight supported by three fingers on your right hand. That doesn't sound fun at all. That sounds painful. Oh, we got some files here. The Huntress Bolt Caster. Fabrication plan for the Bolt Caster 1.3. Noise reduction on trigger action. Decreasing weight while retaining structural stability. Don't I have this already? New key code. From Kevin to Emma, Emma, as you know, Morgan's availability is going to be extremely limited in the upcoming weeks. He'd like to schedule his personal training sessions tomorrow, if possible. Could you possibly adjust your schedule to accommodate his window? Morgan would greatly appreciate it. The key code to the executive suites is 8479. Thanks, Kevin. Concierge. Crew facilities. Treasure hunt. From Abigail to Daniel show, Emma and Elias. Okay, so now we get these maps explained. Greetings, adventurers. Each of you should have a map fragment by now. I managed to hand them to some of you in person. Others might have noticed a new file on your workstations after the last session. They are map fragments. Work together and figure out the clues. Once you have, return to my quarters and you will be given your prize, your humble Game Master Abigail. Oh, man. Investigate Stab Fellows map. Fine, fine, fine. I've investigated the map. L2. Ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> nice touch. So what exploded over there, eh? Whatever it was, it killed this poor soul. No, it didn't. Emma, it's Danielle. <laughs> trying to reach Abby, but she's not answering. Please. Don't. Come. Emma? Please. No. Not Emma. I, I can barely hear you. Safe. Is Abby with you? Are you okay? It's not me. It's, it's not. I won't. I won't. I won't do it. You can't. Gathering echoes. Okay, well, we're at 60%. And no. There's the next treasure map. Rosalind's treasure map, L1. Investigate Rosalind's map. L1, level one, B2, basement two.
Okay, out we go. Quick save. Don't worry about power flickering. Station is just hurting. Keep going. Okay, thanks, Will. A little creepy. Med Bay Cafeteria Executive Suites. Okay, and that's when, uh, okay, all right, I'm getting an idea. That's right, killed that one guy. I went into there, the recreation center, and I went up. There's the med bay. Might as well use the med bay while I'm here. Welcome. Maybe I can help you. Diagnosing, bruising, abrasions, fatigue. Nothing like that. I'll have you feeling better soon. I wish I could get suit repair. Now, there's one thing before we go on up. Uh, there is this. Utilities area map. Could have used that. Oh. Oh, this is going to be helpful. Where can I match up? So that's how we'll do it. We'll compare it to the map here. Surveillance report. Subject Dr. Annalise Galagos, prepared by Officer Malaya Fowles for Alex Yu. Known associate Quentin Purvis, engineer life support. Known associate William Mitchell, chef, crew quarters. Subject left private quarters, presumably to report for his first shift, verified with psychotronic security. Subject returned to private quarters during shift hours. Reason unknown. Quentin Purvis was observed entering subject's quarters. Quentin Purvis left subject's quarters, observed carrying a portable device. Subject left private quarters, walked to cafeteria, and was admitted to kitchen by Chef Will Mitchell. Who's the subject? Subject left crew quarters, verified with psychotronic security. Sub subject reported back to workstation. Subject returned to crew quarters, took meal in room. I got the container set up. This is pretty weird, Quentin. I know, but if we... I don't want to know. I'm doing this as a favor, that's all. Cargo container 3232. It's on the other side of Cargo Bay B, next to the utility tunnel. When I was head chef at the Space Institute, no one asked me to conceal food in a cargo container. Just go easy on the eel, all right? Mm. Abigail, I'm recording this time. You too, Emma. It's fine. Danielle's joining us. She'll cover us if we get into trouble. She said yes? We negotiated. I had to say yes to some things, too. <clears throat> Emails. Intruder from Argentina to crew, quor uh, crew quarter security. Please tell me there's someone trying to enter my room. I have nowhere left to hide. Please hurry. Basement space. Seriously, my quarters have no view of space, no windows at all. What is the one thing that a visitor stand on a space station might enjoy? Surely you have better quarters for Argentino Perro. Not sparkling. I don't know what passes for sparkling wine on board Talos, but I assure you that flat piss the concierge delivered does not qualify. I poured it into the toilet where it belongs. I want a replacement as soon as possible. Better yet, would be a bottle of that Sardar bourbon I understand your CEO likes. And more glasses as well. The others are broken. Wow. This Argentino Perot. Holy cow. New gym code. For your information, the code to the fitness center has changed. Too many people have given out the codes to employees that didn't have the services locked down from the pay stops. The new one is 8991. In case anyone who's paid for it forgets it. Thanks, Emma. 
So I've already been there. Um, I found an alternative way inside, but that's how we would get it otherwise. And this I'll have to hack. Mailroom. Try again. <laughs> Two minutes left. Golly, Leah. Crap, neuro mods, weapon fabrication plan, and upgrade shotgun shells. Throw that over there. Okay, the fabrication plan. I don't. I didn't even see what the fabrication plan was, but there we go. All right, this is where we're gonna have to leave it. Let's uh, do a hard save. And with that. We end the broadcast for today. Thanks for joining me for Prey Day 5. I had a whole lot of fun. I hope you guys did too. Lots of people from uh, all over the world joining today. So thanks to everybody from uh, overseas who was, who was watching today. Um, so that's it for Prey live streams for this week. And we will have a new lore video for you tomorrow. Tomorrow is the big day. I have been working on a Citadel lore video for many days now trying to get it done. Okay, I've got 30 seconds left. Tune in tomorrow. It's going to be nearly an hour and a half to two hours long. And then maybe if I have more time, I'll do something on Sunday. Thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your Friday. Be kind to everybody, and I'll see you all again very soon. Have a good one.